What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. Today, we are not breaking any boxes because we have an 18 card PSA order that just came back. This is going to be a blind reveal. I don't know what the grades are yet, but hopefully, we're just as successful on this one as we were in our last order where we got a ton of tens, including this yellow flood. Uh, from Obsidian, Steph Curry, PSA 10, which is a pop one and actually just sold. It's going to be on its way to the new owner pretty shortly. Uh, by the time this video airs, it'll probably be already on the way. And from a few subs ago, we got that yellow flood uh, Cade from Donruss, which was from a Dollar Tree uh, $1 pack. So pretty nice hit there. All right, let's go ahead and start off right off the bat. Bones Highland. This is going to be an orange ice, I believe. Yep, and this one looked pretty good. Left to right centering looked pretty perfect to me. Didn't find any issues on the card. Come on, let's get a 10. <laughs> All right, not a great start. A nine is not what I was looking for on this. Man, I don't know what I missed. This looks really, really clean. Hmm, okay, well, there's one for the nine stack. Let's hope we get off that nine train pretty soon. Halliburton. This was blue 75th. And again, I saw a lot of bad centering on a lot of these. This one looked really good. It looked like the left and the right were kind of cutting right through the middle of the diamond on both sides. Top to bottom looked good. So let's see if we can get a 10 on this one. Oh, come on. Uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe a little bit thicker on the left, but man, that's close. All right. Well, don't know what I missed on that one, but that's another nine. Don Russ Optic, these are the only cards that didn't really do well in my last sub. I got a ton of 10s on almost everything, but got a bunch of 9s on the Optics I sent. Then at least this one's a blue velocity. I wasn't sure about centering on this. I thought maybe it was a little top heavy and a little too skinny on the bottom. And honestly, looking now, left to right might be a little bit off, maybe a little skinny on the left and fat on the right. But hopefully, can we get a gem? Oh, man. <laughs> All right, this is this was not going the way that I had hoped. We did a lot better on the last sub. All right, Cade, this one also I think is a blue velocity. Yep, really nice color match, sweet looking card. Come on, let's get it. Let's break out of this streak of nines. Let's get a 10 on this one. Oh my God. All right, another nine. Again, I don't know. Maybe left to right centering is a little bit off. I don't know. Well, I think I'm done sending in optic cards. I, for whatever reason, I can't figure out how to grade those apparently. So that's probably it for me on, on grading some optic. All right, this one is a little bit of a bigger card. This came from Obsidian Timo. This was a green flood insert, electric etched green, awesome looking card. It looks really clean to me. Um, I don't think there was any issues on the back. I know a lot of times these thicker cards sometimes have like edge or um, corner issues with peeling and things like that. But this one looked clean. All right, come on. We got to get a 10 here. All right, there we go. You know what? If I was going to get a 10 on any of these or this one, I would have picked this one. So at least we got a 10 on a really good card. I think it's it's got to be a super low pop, I'm sure. Probably pop one or pop two, but awesome. All right, on the board with a 10 on the Cade. All right, now we got a bunch of PC cards. I sent in a bunch of Denny Avdia stuff. Silver Courtside, these are still pretty rare. I know silver's a lot more common on a lot of parallels, but the Courtsides in Select, the silvers are pretty rare. This one looked super clean. I bought a couple of these and some definitely had issues. This one looked a lot cleaner. So this was the only one that I sent in for grading. So come on, let's get a 10 on this. Oh, geez. All right, another nine. Again, I don't know what I missed on this one. Looked really clean. There's a little spot that's on the case, not on the card. Yeah, I don't know. All right, we we may have uh, may have some crack and resubs in uh, <laughs> this one. All right, we got more Denny. This one I think is just a silver. So I bought a whole bunch of these. I bought like five or six of these. They were one or two dollars, maybe three dollars each. So I bought a bunch really cheap and I sent in only two that looked good enough to get a 10. So this one looks really clean to me. Come on, let's get a 10. All right, there we go. 10 on the Denny Silver. And we got another one here. I know I sent in two of these. This should be the other one. Yep, Silver Prism. All right, this one looked just as good as the other one. So I'm hoping we can get another 10 here. Come on, let's go. All right, there we go. All right, breaking out of the... the uh, 
stuck on all those nines there. We got two tens on those Denny's. Got a bunch more Denny's. I know a lot of these aren't gonna gem. In fact, probably none of them will. <laughs> um, this one, I sent, again, I sent in two silvers and two reds. Centering was not perfect on this one. A little bit skinny on the left compared to the right, top to bottom. And I thought the bottom was pretty good. The back looked pretty clean. I don't know, let's see, maybe, probably an, either a nine or a 10. All right, another nine on this one. Add that to the nine stack. This is the other red, also at a 299. And I think this one, this one I think had better centering. Centering looked better to me on this one for sure. Well, actually, maybe not. They're both, nah, I guess they're, they're both kind of, I think actually maybe that one was a little bit better <laughs> than this one. This one definitely thicker on the left and the right. So if that one got a nine, this one probably got a nine too. Let's see. Yep, another nine on that one. We got some more rare stuff. Now this one's numbered out of 88. This was a uh, choice, um, but this one had, it's a little bit of white in that corner down there. A little bit of white and yeah, kind of white on all the corners. Um, centering looked pretty good. Again, these all seem to be thick on the left and skinny on the right. So to hopefully a nine, let's see. Ah, bummer. I guess the centering combined with the, some of the white on the back on the corners, I guess that brought it down to an eight. Oh, well, well, this is a PC card, so not a huge deal. Um, so that'll go right back in the PC. Some more ones here, some, uh, color match. I sent in a lot of the, all my color match stuff. So this is a blue cracked ice. Centering definitely looked better on this one. Left to right looked really good. Top to bottom, pretty good. So I really like the centering on this one. But again, this one also had issues. Corners, kind of little white down there. Same thing, some white in the corners. So hopefully a nine on this one. It looks better than the last one. So hopefully a nine, come on. <laughs> How did this get an eight? I don't understand. There's no way a tiny little bit of white in the corner should bring this down to an eight. Uh, this should be a nine in my opinion. So that kind of stinks. All right, we got one more. This is to 175. This was blue fast break. And oof, you can see centering is way off on this one. Wow, did I, I guess, I mean, I'm sure I looked at it before I sent it in, but wow, that's really bad. All right, <laughs> probably, probably an eight again, let's see. Yep. Really rough centering on that one. Maybe one of these days I'll find a better centered copy of this. All right, another eight, three straight eights. All right, come on, let's get us back to a 10 year. This is a case hit. Permit to dominate for a contenders. I looked this one over really closely. It looked super clean to me. Can't imagine any reason why it wouldn't get a 10. So come on, let's get a 10. Oh my goodness gracious, nine, what? I, I don't see how this got a nine. This one I'm gonna crack and resub for sure. There's no way this is a nine. I just don't, I don't believe that one. That's gonna go back to PSA. All right, just a couple cards left. Got a Shea Gildas Alexander, definitely a good guy to get right now. Thunder playing well in the playoff font. Shea is having the year of a lifetime and this is the Aqua Parallel. Hit this out of a Panini status pack. From 2018, come on, let's get a 10 on this one. There we go. There we go, about time. Only oof, only four 10s and two of them are Denny Silvers. We only got four 10s, two 10s that are not Denny Silvers, but the Cade and the Shea. All right, Jimmy Buckets, need a 10 on this one to have it be worth anything. A PSA 9 isn't gonna help me. So it looks good when I sent it in, let's go. And another nine. Man, Grader was not feeling uh, not feeling good today. Okay, well, there's another nine. These last two, I know we're not gonna get tens, but hoping for decent stuff anyway. Jambalaya. I was worried when I got this, it has this little kind of notch here where it's not a smooth edge. It's, it's kind of hard to see in the slab, but it's not super smooth in that left end. And I, re I thought that was gonna kill me on the grade, but I guess, um, all these jambalayas were printed that way. This one definitely has some edge issues. You can see some whiting on the corner there. So at best, I'm hoping for a nine, but let's see. Ah, dang. A nine would have been awesome. Still an awesome looking card. Obviously keeping this in the PC long-term. Man, that would have been nice as a nine. Okay. 
And last card for sure gonna be the worst grade. And it's 100% my fault. When I was prepping this card for grading, I, let's see if we can see it on here. Can't really see it on the back. There is, there is a crease right here. It's tough to see, but there's a crease on the back of the card. Yeah, I think you can see it more on the front. Yeah, you can definitely see it there. See that crease running right through there. My fault as I pulled this out still makes me sick thinking about it. I can't believe I did that. This wouldn't have gotten a 10 anyway. Um, a lot of kind of minor issues with the edges sort of all over a crazy die cut shape. This would probably have gotten an eight at best. So now with that crease, probably a five or a six, hopefully a six, come on. And it's a five. I feel like every card that was on the cusp of one grade or another got the lower grade. Like that may have been a nine, this may have been a six. A lot of stuff right on the cusp. Like this one I think should have been a nine. I don't know, I don't know how this got an eight. I really can't figure it out. I don't think the back was that bad that I should have gotten an eight, but oh well. That's gonna do it for this PSA review. So we only got, we got a big stack of nines. Some of these might be getting resubbed. Two big PC cards that I wasn't really as concerned about the grade, just happy to get those back. And then, Four nines, we got a Shea, we got two Denny's, and we got a Cade Green Flood. That's gonna be it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this reveal. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next video.